Man, I love making best of videos because it forces me to take a small favorite group out of such a large collection. And today is no exception. I am excited to give you guys access to seven of my favorite fragrances for fall 2022. What is up my fragrant people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and this is the place where you know with the right personality and style that the right fragrance can help you level up that attractiveness game. Now today we're here to talk about my top seven fall fragrances. Now these are seven fragrances that I reach for super easily. These are the fragrances that I reach for on a day-to-day -day basis over a seven day period. Now, these change up a little bit as I go through different weeks, but these are my main fragrances here today and I'm excited to present that to you guys. So at number seven is a fragrance that I wear almost exclusively at night. I don't wear it to work, but I do wear it at night. It's extremely versatile for what it's meant to do. So at nighttime, I can wear it as super casually and I can wear it dressed up. At number seven, from the house of Azara, it's Wanted by Night. Now, Wanted by Night is a super sensual, seductive, and warm fragrance. It's a cinnamon, tobacco, and cedar wood fragrance. And it is strong. It's strong, but it's smooth at the same time. That's why I love this fragrance. It actually takes me from any event. I can be at home with half of a spray, or I can go out and spray like two or three sprays. And this is a room filler. You do not want to go overboard on this fragrance. It smells excellent with just one spray. And you can be outside and one spray will do it. Believe me, you'll smell beautiful. You'll smell seductive and warm. At number seven is Azaro Wanted by Night. Now at number six, is a fragrance that has been with me a rider for the past few years. This one also is very versatile, it's very warm, it's woody, and it is very, very seductive. It's also a fragrance that I reach for when I go to work, and I've also reached for this one super easy when I'm going out on a very casual date night from the house of Chanel. This is Blue de Chanel de Parfum. Now, Blue de Chanel is a deep, woody, seductive, super silky smooth fragrance for men. This is, I would say it's not unisex. This is the very masculine one to me. This one breathes confidence and seduction on a masculine scale. I love this fragrance. I will always have this one in my collection. I promise you. Chanel is one of my favorite houses for men. Always easy to wear, especially the Blue de Chanel line. And the Parfum in particular is a good one for my men that's 35 years plus. When you want to be the man in the room, whether it's at work or whether you're going to a, even if you're going to a dance, this fragrance lasts on the skin and on the clothes. Super woody, super fresh. Little sweetness, but a whole lot of man. At number six, Blue de Chanel. Coming in at number five is a fragrance that I recently introduced to you guys that a lot of people have been talking about lately, but this fragrance in particular, it is my dinner date fragrance around this time of year. It is super warm, spicy, sexy, and seducing, just like all the other fragrances from the house of Armani. It's stronger with you intensely. So Stronger With You Intensely is a super warm, spicy, seductive, candy chestnut fragrance. And like I said in my review before, I'll link it up here. One of my subscribers said it's like vanilla cake. And I agree, this fragrance here is beautiful on skin. Smells good in the air, but man, when you put it on skin, believe me, you will be different from almost anyone around you. Very versatile, very warm, very spicy, very fall. I had this fragrance on recently and a very beautiful friend of mine told me I smelled like fall. My response was, that was the point. Shout out Pookie, man. <laughs> Stronger with you intensely. Now coming in at number four is my fall freshie. This is a fragrance that brings me joy. 
uplifting fragrance that I can wear to work and I can also wear going out on a date or just running errands around town. This fragrance does it all. From the house of Carolina Herrera, it's Bad Boy. Now Bad Boy is the absolute ugliest bottle I have in my collection. My, my son likes it, he's like the lightning bolt, but man, this is one ugly A bottle, but that fragrance is beautiful. And this is one of two freshies that I actually wear when the weather gets cold. This is for my mood changer with the white pepper, black pepper, bergamot, sage, and drying down to that amber wood and tonka bean. Gives a little bit of sweetness and women go crazy. I get the most compliments from this one when I wear it in the cooler weather. When the weather's between maybe 45 degrees all the way up to about 80 degrees, I'm wearing Bad Boy from, um, from Carolina Herrera and this gets the job done every time. Doesn't draw a lot of attention, but when you come into that scent bubble, it's super smooth, super warm, super seductive. From Carolina Herrera, bad boy. Coming in at number three is a fragrance that I introduced to you guys very recently. It is my Sexy Cherries Vanilla Fatale. Coming in from the house of Guerlain is Loam Ideal EDP. Now this, my friends, that cherry and vanilla, oh my goodness. This fragrance right here is a beauty. And this is an exclusive to the cooler weathers for me because it is not only uplifting, mood changing, it is also warm. But when it dries down and you get that smokiness along with the cherry, it gives it a little chocolate cherry vibe. And I'm telling you right now, this fragrance gets me a lot of compliments and it turns heads all right so a few sprays you can't go light on this cannot go light on the trigger because it will evaporate off of your skin very quickly so you must do i do about eight sprays on this one hit your clothes hit your skin and you will be smelling beautiful my ladies can also wear this you will also smell beautiful which is a plus so coming in at number three from guerlain it's Lom Ideal EDP. Before we get to number two, it's heating up. If you guys please would hit that like button, that would really help me out. Put me into that algorithm so more people can see things like what's going on in this channel right here. So coming in at number two is my OG. This is the fragrance that started me on my gourmand slash oriental trip. This got me away from all of the freshies and citrusy fragrances that I first started out with, which most people do. This is my OG coming from the house of Tom Ford. Is Noir Extreme, the Eau de Parfum. Now Noir Extreme is the definition of warm and seducing. Doesn't need all that power because it, what it lacks in that punch, it makes up for in smoothness and, and smoothness and seduction. Oh, I'm telling you. This I will always have in my collection. Tom Ford does seduction perfectly. Vanilla amber and masculinity in a bottle number two nor extreme number one is definitely a fragrance that i reach for a lot less than these other ones even though it's number one it was it was just edged out tom ford but it's number one because this fragrance is a master in blending and chemistry from the house of parfums de marley is herod herod is a special thing in itself. Now, this fragrance is tobacco. Oh my goodness, vanilla. And it does so many things well. For me, I don't really care about the notes. I can read the notes down to you all day long. But what you need to know about this fragrance is that it is masterfully blended. This is right on the gender line. So men can wear it as well as women. And I encourage both to, because this fragrance is so beautiful that I believe everyone should wear it. Believe me, there's a reason why Herod comes in at number one. Ask any lady. <laughs> so guys, you can't go wrong with any of these fragrances today. Cool weather bangers. Trust me, put them on, set them, and everyone's gonna think that you smell awesome. I love all of you guys, no matter where in the world you are, and keep smelling good.